Well, it's Saturday now. About 1.30. Uh, Bob and I went and got a couple loads, semi-loads of corn stalks this morning. And they said it was going to get to 24 last night. And it got to 14. And at 1.30 in the afternoon, it's still 16 degrees. So, I believe uh, they kind of missed that. We're going to see... I got just a little six acre wheat here. Sprayers loaded and been loaded. We're gonna hope that. Let's just turn the pump on. We're gonna hope that uh, everything goes as it's supposed to. We got new streamer tips on this one. And Bob, you got something leaking on the right hand side pretty good. Oh, it's fertilizer. It's running out. There's something. Valve or something over there running fertilizer. Stop here, I guess. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about this narrow spot because you just get fertilizer all over everything. Yeah, so I figured I wasn't going to. It actually looks like it quit leaking unless you shut it off. No. Nope, it's leaking again. I'd say it's the overfill, remember? Nope, it's on the right boom up here. Yeah, we got a hose or something right below that on off connection. Alright, well, I guess we better figure out what our leak is. Because it does look substantial. There. All right, bring it back. Well, it was a couple hose clamps. Luckily, it looks like all it was just from being so darn cold the other day. Ground's still plenty soft. He left a little track when he left there, probably four to five inches deep. And we're not about tracking it, so this may not go long. Twenty-five. Yeah, I uh, definitely left the track there. You're cutting the track there, spitting loose stuff. Anyway, I don't want to track. I said, where you turned, you were kicking up loose, you know, semi-mud. Well, he's around about 15, 16 miles an hour. Yeah, we'll run on right up there. Like that. Well, you're running 15 miles an hour. So it won't run on rate at 10 mile an hour? This left wing must have an issue with that spring. It's breaking all over, breaking back. Did we turn that pump down or not? Yeah, that's not good on the steering there. All right, fellas. Looks like we got some things to to look at here. Showing what? Boom pressure. Showing what? Loss of boom pressure. Loss of boom pressure? Uh, it's showing like 60 pounds. 
Oh, lots of boom. Well, I'm here. What? You said lots. I got it. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I was looking over the camera there. All right. Well, like I said, I guess we got a few things to look at here. He says we've got 60 pounds of boom pressure. But uh, he can only run about 10 mile an hour and stay on 17. We're shooting for 20 gallon rate. All right. Later. Well, here's what we come up with. Uh, we got all our leaks fixed, which I did probably tell you that in the last one, just some hose clamps. Bob says we've got a 3D temperature, hydraulic temperature or something, and it's wanting to wander pretty good on the auto steer, so we're assuming the fluid's cold. Uh, so, we've got a lot better days to come temperature-wise, as I stated. 16 degrees don't worry about all my Christmas tree lights so my suggestion was we know it's gonna run we're only gonna be able to run about eight mile an hour with those white streamer tips it was six hundred dollars for that set I don't know we may end up buying two sets bigger we've got the biggest set they make on that machine already but I think the biggest set's going to be a little aggressive for 20 gallon. So anyway, we may end up buying another set that's two sizes bigger than that one. Well, I did get the heater valve turned on. The heater is working. So. Well, that's a plus. So I don't know. We're kind of up in limbo. I told Bob I'm good with putting it back in the shed. We've got the bugs worked out. We know we can run eight mile an hour and get 20 gallon on without any trouble. If we want to run faster than eight, which generally we have, I mean, 12 is pretty slow for us usually, but we can get another set, as I said, and uh, run a little faster. I guess that's what we'll decide. We're gonna put it back in the shed. We're supposed to be in the 70s in just a very few days. Machine will run better in the 70s. Things will go smoother, but we got it out, stretched its legs. I think we're uh, semi ready. All right, guys, later. Sunday morning, we got the sprayer up and running. Uh, semi was a little cranky, it's about 22 degrees out. Got a tire low on the semi, had to get it aired up, but we are moving at the moment. Got out of fuel. Get that fuel we talked about. She don't run for free. It's only 316 a gallon. Giving it away this morning. I should have mentioned that's dyed fuel. Road fuel's even more expensive. Well, I might as well find out where we're at with what we got on. While we're close. Oh hell, we ain't bad at all. Eighty-eight, one eighty. Hard to see up there. Not terrible. Hi right, guys, I had my hands in fertilizer and couldn't tape any. We uh
had to clean screens on the sprayer building boom pressure but we weren't uh, weren't being able to to maintain our gallons per acre so anyway i got down here and got turned around uh cleaned all the screens and i think it's up and running good now he's clear back on the other other side here you zoom that far in it's hard to there he is still look like he's running real fast i'll have to check that fixed it but i'm pretty sure that'll fix it ah, i found it yeah and i never remember which one is it la aggressiveness or online sensitivity online sensitivity isn't it I think we were running between 12 and 15 or something, weren't we? Well, I'm at 15 now. Yeah, I'd drop it down. Watch your boom on my trailer here. Well, fellas, that's all we're going to be doing today, back and forth. So, I don't know how much taping I'll do. Later, guys. Yeah, all right, we just sent him. Starting on another, I think there's 88 acres on this place. This is that wheat that was planted really late. It was kind of a second thought when we planted it. We had hay grazer. This is when we took all the hay grazer. Anyway, we'll have to load here again. So, got him loaded. I'll just sit here and wait, and we'll get him another 1,200 gallon. It won't take the full load next time to do this place, but the next place is 78 acres. So, we can do 60. So we will have about 28 off the next tank. So on the next 80, we'll only have to fill one time. Then it's off to our furthest field, southeast. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit. We can get, like I said earlier this morning, the south farm's done. And that'll be a pretty good load off. I should have mentioned earlier, we had talked about putting a three inch pump on this tanker and we didn't. We went with two inch, much faster. You guys at farm know, but guys that don't farm, a three inch pump is a lot faster on liquid fertilizer because liquid fertilizer is so heavy, it moves slow. Uh, we were concerned about that, but it just took us 11 minutes to fill so that's not terrible got a clamp back there it's when it's under pressure seeping just a little bit so anyway we're not real unhappy with 11 minutes see it come on on the end up here when he gets where he's not overlapping Still overlapping. There it turned on. But anyway, I just just gonna bring you back and tell you that two inch pump, twelve hundred gallon tank. Bob said we had about seventy, eighty gallon in it when we started, so it took us eleven minutes. 
I don't know if that's worth putting a three inch pump on there. Maybe it is, I don't know. Well, it's 12.32, just pulled out of that 90 acres. And uh, southeast about 10 miles, got another 80 there. 103, we're up and running. A little damp along the edge. Bob cut a little track. Not terrible. He's going to make a couple, three passes on this end. Back and forth before he starts north and south just to get the sprayer out of that damp stuff. We don't want to be turning tracks. So anyway, yep, we did not load. We had enough for 35 acres on the sprayer when we moved here. So we'll get that 35 acres out. Reload. That'll give us enough to get the next field loading once there as well. All right, that eighty's done. Bob's folded up, eating a Sonic cheeseburger my boy brought us, and we're moving to Oxford. 63, 65 acres over there, something like that. All right. All right, we're over to Oxford. It's about 245. We we're hoping to be here and running by three, so we're beating that. Bob's on his first round. He's made one complete round around this patch and then running this headland time or two here so we can get plenty of spray or plenty of fertilizer off of there. So we had to fill once here. All right, he's coming to fill. Gotta get going here. All right, guys, it's 3.50. get back to the house, get the tanker reloaded. I don't know, Bob wants to go to Clearwater tonight. I think that's pushing pretty hard. I think we ought to just get the tanker loaded. Everything's went really smooth and sometimes you just gotta call it a day, but we'll see. I don't wanna push. If he wants to push, we'll push. All right, we're just gonna make our way home probably close to an hour with the sprayer back to the house. Every, all the farms south for wheat are done. So all we've got is uh, a quarter and 90 and another 80 north of the house. So what we have left is fairly close to the house. All right, I may throw this on. You guys know what we're doing. Later. All right, guys, we went and top dressed some more wheat today. It's Monday. Um, got everything down south done, as I told you. We went to the far north 80. Uh, did pretty well up there. Soft, but didn't track it. Then we came back to the house here, which we had two neighbors tell us they could not run in this area. And we had to try. We went on an 80, there's 88 acres southwest of here, a couple miles. And Bob tracked the 13-acre patch pretty good. Tracked it from one end to the other. So we quit. Anyway, I was just going to bring you back real quick. I'll flip you around, show you my purchase. Bought this off a of marketplace. It is a dog kennel out of uh, the Greyhound Park up there in Wichita. So it's got real nice latches on it. And the bottom is three quarter inch poly. So you're not wearing out the bottom. Anyway, the kid had three of them. I couldn't haul another one or I'd have got another one. And I told him, I said, you, I said, are you getting, get them sold? And he'd had a few people ask, but he wasn't selling them. I said, advertise them as chicken brooders or rabbit hutches. I said, they'll go in a heartbeat. So he was grateful and he was going to delete the post. I told him to add a hundred dollars and he'd sell them in a heartbeat. So anyway, I give $150 for it and didn't even try to negotiate. I was very pleased with the price. Can't build it for that. And I think he'd probably get 250 just as quick as he got 150. All right, guys. Later.